In order to remain relevant and productive, Health of Mother Earth Foundation, HOMEF, has organized training on food and farming system for some farmers in Port Harcourt, the River State Capital. Participants were trained on how to, how to use agroecology for better farm production, the report. Farmers' rights should be respected. Farmers' rights should be respected. The program manager of HOMEF, Joyce Brown, speaks on the significance of agroecology. She notes that the system will help to mitigate the impact of climate change by retaining carbon in the soil. Agroecology helps soils um, to be resilient to the impact of climate change. It's important that as a people, as a country, we find our way back to agroecology uh, because most of the practices of agroecology are practices that our farmers have been practicing over, over time. Uh, there are new practices, there are innovations in agroecology, but basically there are practices that we know, but we are moving away from from because of the advent of um, using the use of chemicals, the heavy use of chemicals. Facilitating the movement of food products from the farms to the market becomes necessary and this means the government must fix bad roads. Obviously, government has to empower farmers with organic fertilizers. Agroecology is the, the magic. You know, agroecological principles, you know, actually what we stand for, we advocate for it because it's not a risky technology as GM. Agroecology uh, is a, a system that aligns with our natural system of food production. And we encourage the government, you know, to educate, train and empower our farmers, you know, in that line. We should make laws that are contextual, laws that uh, protect the interests of our smallholder farmers because the plant variety protection law is actually in accordance to what they call UPOV. Some farmers are already sold out to the agroecology method of farming as it is in line with nature and does not come with any health implications. They call on the government to encourage the practice across the nation and reject the genetically modified organism foods. We don't see any benefit in it. It brings us a health uh, hazard. A government to give us money. Let them give us grant that we empower us to do the manual work we have been doing. Because we discovered that even since that GMO can kill grass, it will also kill the uh, the, the, the insects that are friendly to farm, like uh, earthworm, it will kill them. Farmers should not be as in any chemical that comes out in the markets. You just rush and go and buy. It affects your farm. Just use the organic method. Just use our local way of farming and do your work. After a two-day dialogue and training on agroecology, Participating farmers are confident that the solution to impact of climate change and food crisis is agroecology. I'm happy to be a farmer. I'm happy to be a farmer. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.